Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to conclude the semi-final round of the Excellent, Excellent Eggs Tournament. Tournament. So we have three matches to go through here. Starting off with the Wind Egg going up against the Europe Egg. And then we'll have the Europe Egg going up against the Water Egg. And the match that could end up being pointless if the Europe Egg wins its two matches. The Water Egg versus the Wind Egg. One place left in the final. And let's find out who will get that spot. Ooh, the rat, the wind egg drawing a doozy. They've drawn the Carnotaurus. And yes, in the red corner, for the for the wind egg, we have Carnotaurus. Oh, look at that. Okay, I think the wind egg might be the favourite now. Oh, it's got Machungasaurus as well. It's got the Ableosaurus. Yeah, I think the wind egg's going to win this one. And I should point out that one of the Europe egg dinosaurs is the gra is the grass one, so yeah. I think the wind egg is gonna win. Although they got a wind dinosaur of them in you strip the spondylus, and we saw how well it did last time, and it's gonna have to do equally as well this time if the Europe egg ha has any chance of winning. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough one now for the Europe egg. Especially after all the wind egg just threw the Carnotaurus and Majungasaurus. And yeah, Iguanodon. Tight disadvantage. It's I can't, I think the wind egg's gonna win. Unless the Europe egg gets really lucky with you strep the spondylus again. I think the wind egg is gonna win this match. But stranger things have happened in this tournament, so you never know. Can you strep the spondylus? Pulp put the work in. I mean it certainly did last time. Ooh, and that's just the start they'd want. It's an Indra attack. Well, couldn't have asked for a better start, could they? They need to kill this Carnotaurus ASAPs. Because now the hurricane beat has been triggered. Oh, tight. Another time, and that will take Carnotaurus' HP below half, so this has been a very good start from the Europe Egg. Well, is this Carnotaurus dead? What a start from Europe! The Carnotaurus won't be able to swap out either. Oh, it's dead. It's all on the Jungasaurus, and look at this! You stripped the Spondylus doing the work again! Well, that is a huge boost for the Europe Egg. Ooh, but you strep the Spondylus is going to get hit. And it's going to be a crit from the Majungasaurus. And it's a bite in win. Slice, slice, slice. I feel like this tournament has flown by. Interesting. Elemental power will definitely help Majungasaurus. Can he finish off his strip the spondylus? Oh, I think, yeah, that's it. It's a sonic blast. You strip the spondylus, took out the Carnotaurus in fairness to it, but the Jungasaurus came in to finish it off. And now, the Wind Egg definitely in the driving seat. Well, uh, well, you know, you stripped the spondylus, took a little bit of health away. Can the Iguanodon do it? Well, it's a crit, but again, the type disadvantage, the elemental power. Yeah, nullifying that crit. And Iguanodon does have quite a strong crit. Well, can the Iguanodon do it? Is Iguanodon going to pull this off? Oh, there's a hit. And Majungasaurus is very balanced, so every hit's going to do damage. Oh. Not as much as I was expecting. Mainly because of the defense boost from the Iguanodon. They're definitely helping it. Oh, 
Oh, the Thorn Whip could have done it. Can of Guadadon do it? Oh, if, is this lethal? I, well, it depends. If this Majungasaurus is counter type, this is going to be lethal. Even with defense boost. Oh, look at that! Wait, we might have a tie, yeah? <laughs> That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? If it is a tie, I won't do this match again. It will literally just be a tie. Oh, it's a tie! Well, that makes things interesting. Europe egg clinging on to snatch a tie against the wind egg. And that does change everything. Wow, I think that's the first tie the first tie in this tournament. Really tight match. That's that's the kind of match we want. <laughs> Not all this one-sided massacre garbage. Right then. On to the next matchup. Well, this could be an interest. Ooh, the look at that! Look at the Europe egg drawing a doozy. It's Ampelosaurus. Well, this is going to be interesting. Isn't it? So we're going to have three water dinosaurs. The other one's an Earth dinosaur, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, I should point out if the Europe egg does win this match, they will go to four points and will go through to the final. If the Wind egg fails to defeat the Water egg in the third matchup. And yes, backing up the backing up the Amplosaurus, we got the Sandrarus. This could be a solid team here. The resilience of the Sandrarus. We could see some Earth Barrier support effects. Oh, the Water Egg's got Amplosaurus as well. That makes things interesting. The Water Egg drawing a doozy as well. Of course, this Amplosaurus is probably going to be stronger. Yes. <laughs> Backing up the Ampelosaurus, we have Amargosaurus. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, that's a good team there for the Water Egg. Oh, oh yes, it's got Tragic Sphere. Okay, yes. Um, I think the Water Egg might win you. We all know what this Amargosaurus could do. Zittery, zittery, zittery. I think the Europe Egg's going to need some Earth Burial support effects. Ooh, the Ampelosaurus on the right gets the first hit. Boosh! Technique boost there. Oh, that's a tie. We, we do have Ocean Panic, but... Oh, speak of the devil. Well, I was going to say, there's very little chance of it activating, but... You know how this game is. You get a freaking black T-Rex gets off Eater Reptrum with zero technique. Badoosh! Badoosh. It's panic time for the right Ampelosaurus. Although, it doesn't get a shockwave effect. But still, it's a hit. Oh, the right Ampelosaurus gets the next hit. It's an Aqua Whip. Oh, we got a support. We got a shockwave as well. But well, we definitely saw the shockwave. How effective it can be in the Water Egg's last match. But oh, look at that Archaeopteryx charm coming in. And I think that does take Ampelosaurus's. Wait, it nullified the shockwave as well. Wow, that's awesome. And it did take its health above half, so the Ampelosaurus will not attempt to swap. Well, it's pretty much bang on halfway. Oh, yes, the support effect from the Desantorus. That could be a that could be a key factor here. It keeps the Ampelosaurus alive longer. But the Ampelosaurus on the right will get the next hit and get the swap out into the powerhouse that is a Amargosaurus. Okay, now this could be big. If the Amargosaurus gets a crit here, and it might. Okay, it doesn't. Boosh. I think it's attack type this Amargosaurus as well. Ampelosaurus living dangerously here going for paper. Really needs to go for rock or scissors there, that's better. Well, nothing can separate these two so far. No ocean panics either. Wow, another tie. 
Slowly but surely, the Ampelosaurus is losing health. And actually... Well, the Magasaurus will be attempting a swap out. Oh, but he doesn't get it! Could that be a turning point? The Ampelosaurus gets the hit, gets the swap out, stops the Magasaurus from swapping out. And all the more while, that Ampelosaurus is going to heal up. Oh, could that be a turning point in this match? Has the Europe Egg turned the screw? Oh, maybe not. The Magasaurus does get the hit, but unfortunately, it will not get the swap out. Oh, that's another tie. Back to tie spam again. And yep, yeah, that's all she wrote for a Magasaurus. Unfortunately, it didn't get a cred off, but... It, you know, poor way the Ampelosaurus did some damage to the Desantororus. But, I would definitely say now, the Eurobag is in the driving seat. I remember, this Desantororus does get the swap out as well. Which it will attempt next round. However, the Shockwave has come in. That could change things, make it diff more difficult to swap out. Okay, so Ampelosaurus will be going for a rock. You can't go paper. Oh, it's going to fail. The swap out has failed. Ampelosaurus gets the next hit. And the left Ampelosaurus is going to get hit as well. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I think the Europe Egg is actually losing. Even though it's got two dinosaurs, this Ampelosaurus got more health than both of them. Oh, that's a tie. Ties do suit the Santororus, though. I think it is tie type. Ooh. Is this lethal? Wait, what move is this? Oh, okay, it's going to be lethal. That's Dino Sweat. This might be game over for the water egg. Oh, it's game over! And I think because of that, the water egg cannot advance to the final. So yes, despite knocking out the secret egg number two in the first round, the water egg is going to be eliminated. Because it can't, it will not get enough points in its next match to catch the Europe egg, who currently sit on four points. Now here's where things get interesting, because in this next matchup, we are going to see the water egg going up against the wind egg. So, if the wind egg can defeat the water egg, they will also be level on four points. So, we will have to have a rematch between the wind egg and the Europe egg, and the winner of that matchup will go through. If the water egg wins, or it's a draw, then the Europe egg will go through to the final. So, let's find out what happens. Ooh. Well, even despite being out of this tournament, the water egg joined the Spinosaurus. So we are going to see Spinosaurus in this tournament. That's nice to see. Nice to see. Although the wind egg might not be too pleased with that, with that outcome. And the Spinosaurus is going to be backed up by a Pistacina Cordia. And we've definitely seen him before. Well, this is going to be a very tough match for the wind egg. Because this thing will definitely get off some shockwaves should the Spinosaurus get some hits on the board. And Spinosaurus itself has shockwave as well. Let's see what the wind egg gets. Ooh, we got to dealt the Dromias. It's going to be a match rematch from the anime. Spinosaurus versus dealt the Dromias. This dealt the Dromias does have the power of hurricane beat. The wind egg has to win this match to keep his tournament hopes alive. And he is also backed up by a little ratty thing in Gojurasaurus. So we might see some cyclone effects, which could be useful against this water against the water egg. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting match. I feel like if the water egg gets momentum, I think the water egg's gonna win. Because of the shockwave. Ooh, but it's the doubt the Dromius getting the first hit. It's a crit. The Wind Egg couldn't ask for a better start. It's a 
Die. That's another tie. Okay, the Spino will attempt the swap out now. Oop, he doesn't get a swap out yet. Ooh, he does get the swap out this time. Spinosaurus getting that hit. And he's going to get a swap out into his Deceivacordia so he can heal up again. Boosh! Technique boost there. Oh, it's a shockwave as well. Spinosaur is leaving apart the gift for Delta Dromius. Oh, oh, the shockwave didn't happen. <laughs> Probably because the Spino swapped out. I bet if the Epistocida Cordia got a shockwave effect, it would have swapped out. It would have happened. Oh, well. There's the hit from the Epistocida Cordia. Dino Illusion getting triggered. And the Gujurasaurus is going to get hit as well, so the Delta Dromius failed the swap. The Water Egg on top. Oh, it's a tie! It's the worst case scenario for the Wind Egg. The Dino Illusion is wasted. The tie kills Delta Dromius, and it's all on Gojurasaurus. Well, for a Oh, here we go. Probably got you. It's a Sonic Blast. Can the Wind Egg get back in this match with Gojurasaurus? It's going to be tough. I mean, get past this thing. you got Spinosaurus to deal with. And look, look how fast it's, it's healing up as well. It's healing up quite a bit. Look at our health back in the green. So it's going to be very tough for the Wind Egg to come back from this. Although, a crack from Gojurasaurus, how can the Wind Egg steal this match's momentum? The Epistocele Cordia swap out has failed, so the Spinosaurus will... Oh, it's dead. Oh yeah, of course, because of elemental power, the Spino's going to get hit as well. Look at this from Gojurasaurus, the Wind Egg clinging onto his tournament hopes. Oh, that's a tie. Tie Suit Gojurasaurus, though. It's charge type. It's got the Sonic Blast. Ooh, but the Spino gets the next hit. Could that be it? If he gets a Shockwave off, that could be that. Oh, he gets a Shockwave. Not good for Gojurasaurus. He's just going to have to rely on a Sonic Blast here to save the day. Okay, so Spino will be going for Skizzers. Oh, it's a tie. Dodged a bullet there, Gojurasaurus, but can he do it? Can he pull it off? Oh, he can't. That's going to be game. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is game. That is game over for the Wind Egg. The Shockwave confirms it. Because even if it's a tie, Gojurasaurus is not going to survive and not going to do enough damage to kill the Spino. Oh, bless him. Didn't even get a hit anyway. But I tell you what, he put up a good fight there. Put up a good fight, Gojurasaurus. But the water egg just proving too powerful. The Spinosaurus making the difference. And because of that result, the Europe egg will be advancing to the final. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Right, we shall look at our final three for this egg tournament now. So yes, that is our final three, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Lightning Egg, the North America Egg 1, and the Europe Egg. So pop a comment down below, which one of these eggs do you think is going to win? Hope you enjoyed this semi-final round. If you did, please leave a like, ring the bell, make sure you don't miss out on the finale of the Excellent Eggs Tournament. And until next time, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.